what is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Octave OS over here that is the version 2.3 official build and this is a pre-release build guys whenever the official release happens I'll put the links in the description so do not worry about that but here the flashing procedure is pretty similar to other ROMs. You can check out that video from the card right there if you want to install this particular ROM on your device and this ROM includes the G apps. You don't need to actually flash G apps separately here. And over here it shows all the specs of the Redmi Note 7 Pro, the Snapdragon 675 and stuff. And here the maintainer's name is Karthik Lal and the device is of course Redmi Note 7 Pro. A couple more thing is that in the Android version, if you tap on this Android 11 logo, you will see this Android 11's Easter egg over here. And here we have the security patch as of right now is April 5th, 2021. So that's the latest one. And the build date here is 24th April 2021 build. And the kernel version says not smooth AF, but it feels smooth in my opinion. And this is how the settings panel looks like over here on this ROM. And it shows hello and your name. For me, it shows Gary and Dick, so do subscribe. And here it says, I'm not insulting you, I'm describing you, so that's good. And here if you scroll down, as you can see, the settings panel is completely like partitioned a little bit over here if you're noticing. So first, let's jump into the customization and for that you have to scroll a little bit and get into this Octavi lab. There you will find all the customizations. It shows welcome over here and then it shows the Octavi theme stuff and we have the accent color picker over here so you can pick any accent color from here. Dark theme is there so if you turn it on as you can see the dark theme is completely dark it does not have any grayish kind of look over here so that is good actually and we have the color bucket too if you want to change the dark theme kind of like the gray and stuff and we have the headline and body fonts again plethora of body fonts that you get we have the LG smart gothic one plus set big noodle titling and stuff so yeah a lot of fonts that you get and if you scroll down we have the icon shapes too over here plethora of icon shapes i'm noticing and even you get a lot of icon packs too from here then we have the switch appearance you can change it to one plus narrow content or you can go with the default one there is also the telegram option so that's cool and we have the brightness slider so you can have this meme rounded brightness slider over here so with the meme rounded as you can see this is how the brightness slider looks like so this looks pretty cool as you are noticing and there is a nav bar customization you can set it to asus or oneplus or one ui kind of nav bar if you're using two or three button nav bar i guess so let me quickly show you the difference between this default setting style this is how they look in the default setting style and if you set them to cartoony as you are noticing this is how they look like on the right side if you're noticing the icons they have changed and we have the rounded corners too so from here if you set it to large these notification panels corners over here will become a lot more rounded already i'm seeing the volume panel and stuff is pretty good and they are pretty rounded as you are noticing so very cool kind of ui you should be familiar with because i have already made a lot of videos on octavius previously too and we have the status bar kind of customization that you can put it to medium large extra large etc if you want some gap over here on the status bar then we have the system wide like kind of animations and from here you can have the screen of animation to color fade, the CRT scale or simple fade. And we also have the toast animations if you want that. And right now in the quick settings panel we have the column and row number customization, we have the vibrate on toggle touch, even tint quick setting styles is there and we have the disable quick setting when locked and stuff. Then quick setting clock you can change the position of that even data usage you can have that on the quick settings panel and from this quick settings panel if you set this quick setting pill clock if you pull down the quick settings panel it looks like this so this is the new clock style that you get in the quick setting panel itself and in the ambient stuff we have the new notification and stuff pulse notification options and in the screenshot type it has the take full screenshot option then scrolling cast you can change it if you want to in the lock screen we have the lock screen shortcuts then the fingerprint authentication vibration error vibration lock screen charging info and if you scroll down we have the translation notification and stuff and this fingerprint icon that you are noticing on the lock screen if you want to hide that you can simply enable this hide fingerprint icon in the lock screen you won't see that fingerprint icon so you get a clean look and we have the lock screen notification count and if you scroll down we have the media cover art etc and we have the lock screen weather but i'm not really seeing any option for the always unlock with the film mid scanner so that feature might be missing in the button section we have the home button when ringing then the volume button customization and you can actually change the volume panel so this volume panel over here you can totally change to the aosp compact audio or tiled option now in the gesture settings we have the toggle torch when screen off and we have the swipe quick screenshot so as you can see 
the long screenshot and stuff is there and you can edit share or delete them from here so this is very cool that we get the long screenshot option and we have the double tap to sleep on the status bar and lock screen and again long face power button to toggle torch is there in the customized power menu we have all these customizations then inside the nav bar we have this nav bar enabling option and if you go into it we have the gesture navigation this settings is also present in the system guys and if you go into the settings of it we have the gesture bar length customization the radius customization and that's the reason why as you can see the pill bar is quite thick right now you can make it even smaller over here if you want to like the thickness and the length you can customize both we have the dead zone customization then the haptic feedback back gesture animation etc and we have all these like amount of height to be used for the back gesture and stuff so these features are there and also two and three button navigations are of course there now let's move on to the status bar here we have the status bar items here you can enable the headset bluetooth etc icons from here and we have the volume wi-fi etc let me go back we have the clock and date customization so you can like have the clock style and am pm style you can change it from here too and show seconds option is there if you want to see seconds in the status bar for some reason and date option is also there in the configuration of the battery style over here you can like have the quick setting battery and the battery style you can change it to icon portrait dotted circle and stuff but there is an option to have the big dotted circle or something and here we have the battery percentage and here you can enable it inside the icon or next to the icon and we have the flash kind of animation over here you can also change that while charging it will show up in the lock screen and we have the battery percentage when charging of course then we have the notification so from here we have the heads up notification disabling option battery charging light is there dialer heads up and stuff is there we have the notification art style so you can enable that Reticker, I'm not really sure what that does, but yeah, that option is there. Then we have the show notification count, I'll enable that. And we have the data disabled icon and Vaulty icon and stuff. And also view Wi-Fi icon is there. I don't have a SIM card in the device, but Vaulty calling should be working perfectly fine here. And in the MISC settings, we have the gaming mode, the smart pixel. And if you scroll down, we have the wake up on charge disabling option. Also, there is the incoming call kind of like changing option. You can have the both speaker and headset sound. And we have the charging animation, enabling or disabling option, ambient display brightness. And while switching through the UI in the customization section, it looks like this. So that's it for the customization. Right now, let me just move on to the stock launcher and you get the pixel launcher present by default here. To the left, we get the Google's discover page. Swiping down anywhere on the home screen gets you to the quick settings panel, as you can see, or the notification panel. Swiping up gets you to the app drawer and you can hide the suggestions over here, not a problem. And the widgets in the home screen are working fine here. And the UI seems to be very smooth, not a problem here. In the quick settings panel, we have these kind of toggles. Let me show you. I have added a couple of toggles, but you can add more if you are like willing to see some options. There are plethora of options for the quick toggles over here. Now let me show you what I have added. The dark theme is there, so you can enable the dark theme right away from here. And also we have the screen recording option, so you can record the device audio and the microphone audio with the screen recording at the same time. And also we have the heads up disabling option. The reboot toggle is there, so you can directly reboot from this quick toggle to recovery or something. And screenshot option is there, hotspot and stuff is there, do not disturb is there. I'll just enable that. And there are two FPS info overlays. Just notice, as you can see, this is one FPS info overlay. It shows like on the top left and here, if you enable this one, as you can see, there is also a FPS info over here. So this one I like more, I would say. So I'll just disable this one. And right now, yeah, this is a very cool like FPS info that you are getting here, that you are getting two FPS info toggles over here for some reason. Pretty cool in my opinion. And the mute toggle is there so you can put your phone like ring or vibrate or just mute. If you tap and hold on this mute icon over here, you get the volume panel. So actually there is no volume panel toggle separately, but you can tap and hold on this mute or the profile toggle. So if your volume buttons are even broken, you can tap and hold on this sound toggle and you will get this volume panel right here. Now let's talk about the stock camera. We get this Nikita Gcam over here by default and this is the version 1.0. Let me show you the normal kind of like things over here on the Google camera. We have this 2x telephoto zoom I guess. So this is just a crop from the main sensor but taking photos should be fine here. So this is the photo I just took and the quality seems to be pretty good and it shows really good quality pictures it can click I guess. And night side pictures and stuff you can take totally and we have also the astro photography if you want to. We have the full HD then the 4K option and on 4K you can only shoot up to 30 FPS and with full HD you can go 60 FPS if you want to I guess yep and let's see if that works. So seems like yes the face retouching is actually working 
so this is pretty great that you can use this google camera for selfies i'm pretty sure that the face retouching is actually working pretty great to have this stock camera over here in this room in my opinion right now let me talk about some other things like the safety net and as you can see it passes the safety net test right out of the box so you can use banking apps like google pay over here without any issues also the drm info stays l1 over here so you can stream netflix or amazon prime videos in 1080p also if you're someone who uses the ir blaster on your redmi note 7 pro here as you are noticing you can use the ir blaster without any issues it does not force close the ui or something like it happened earlier with android 11 but right now it is working flawlessly this is how the recent panel looks like guys and you can take a screenshot or something if you want to you can select some text over here if you want to as you can see so yeah and you can clear all the apps from over here and you if you want to go to the split screen mode you can go from here talking about google assistant yes you can use this swiping feature over here for the google assistant also if you say hey google as you can see, the Google Assistant is working fine even with the voice trigger. So this is great. Jumping into the other settings like the battery settings over here, this is how it looks like. We have the thermal profiles if you want some apps to set like the thermal profiles over here. And on the left, we get the battery percentage. And if you tap here, you can see the full battery usage, I would say. And this battery icon looks pretty cool in my opinion. And we have the battery saver and the smart charging battery manager, etc. is there. The cool thing is we can see the design battery capacity, the current battery capacity and the charging cycles over here. Also, the battery temperature shows up on the bottom. So this is really great that we're getting so much battery information in the settings itself. And the fast charging is working fine here flawlessly. And you can get about six to seven hours of screen on time with this ROM. And this is how the display settings looks like. We have the brightness level from here. Then we have the night light option. You can schedule it or change the intensity. Then we have the auto brightness and inside styles and wallpapers. We have these custom themes. And from here, you can again choose the fonts and stuff and the accent colors. Then from the clocks, we have a lot of like clock screen clock presets. And as you are noticing, we have the shape shift kind of clock, then the bubble animation and stuff. So yeah, and the Octavi digital clock, etc. If you select this Octavi digital clock from here, that is present on the bottom. So as you are noticing, the lock screen looks very, very beautiful. So a lot of lock screen clock that you get over here, including the Spider-Man and stuff. We also have this one, the Octavi one. So yeah, a lot of clocks that you get. And we have the screen attention mode and auto rotate screen is there. Then if you scroll down, we have the font size, display size and the DPI customization. Then from the lock screen, we have the skip lock screen option and we have the show lockdown, etc. Then we have the double tap to wake and the pocket detection mode. And we also have this display cutout. So the default one works, but I'm not really sure about these three, but the hide notch option is really great. And as you can see, you can completely hide this top part and it looks really, really beautiful in my opinion. Let me just switch back to the default one. And here we also have the full screen apps over here. So if you want to change some particular apps, if you want them to force in full screen, you can do that. In the sound settings, this is how it looks. And everywhere in the UI, it shows pretty bold kind of like look over here. The title is very cool in each settings. And we have these increased volume and stuff. We have the ringtone vibration pattern changing option. If you scroll down, we have the media, phone, ringtone, etc. changing option. Then we have the dial pad tone, screen locking sound, charging sound, charging vibration, etc. Vibrate on connect call waiting or disconnect. So in call vibration options are there and screenshot sound, you can disable that too. So everything you can customize over here in terms of sounds. Now in the security, we also have the fingerprint and the face unlock and the app locker. Three things. First, I'll show you the fingerprint scanner speed. So let me just double tap over here to lock the device. And if I tap here, as you can see, the fingerprint scanner speed is pretty fine. Let me show you one more time. And once again, as you can see, the fingerprint scanner is very fast. No issues that I have had with the fingerprint scanner here. Let's set up the face unlock over here. Okay, so I have some obstacles. And let's just double tap on the status bar because no double tap to like sleep on the home screen here. So this is how the lock screen looks like. And as you can see, it unlocks super fast with the face unlock. Let me show you one more time. So yep, pretty like fast face unlocking speed over here. And again, it has unlocked. So 100% accuracy with the face unlock too. Now we also have a app lock. So once you lock a particular app, it shows like this. You can hide the notification just like this. And you can also set the lock app like instantly or after 15 seconds or when every time the screen goes off. So yeah, I have set it to 15 seconds. And as you can see right now, if I open the Telegram app, it shows this kind of app locking UI. And if I tap the fingerprint scanner right now, as you can see, it opens the Telegram app. 
so the app locking you can also use with face unlock or the pin so very cool feature in my opinion that we get this kind of app lock over here and it works flawlessly and this is how the calculator ui looks over here on this rom and there is the redesigned messaging app it looks like this and the clock ui also has some changes the developers has mentioned so it looks like this now let me hop into the system settings here we get the violet parts also and here we have the sc linux mode set to enforcing and we have the persist across reboot then we have the display color calibration or the kcl so you can customize everything in terms of the display the saturation value contrast etc and the rgb control you get fully and we have the fps info overlay too and we have the enable fast charging option then we have the clear speaker option if you want to clear your loudspeakers for some reason and we have the me audio direct and from here you can set the presets to anything i like the youth edition and the sound quality via the headphone jack and bluetooth over here is great no issues and here we have the vibration intensity of the haptic feedback and stuff and you can also set the brightness of the torch so that is great this is for the torch at the back as you can see right now it's at full brightness so it has pretty like great brightness for the torch now from this about octavio os you can see the developers i guess and yeah they have done a pretty amazing job over here and in terms of like the stability of the octavio os it feels amazing in my personal opinion in the gesture settings we have the power menu customization we have the sensitive content and stuff and by the way in the power menu this is how it looks like we have this kind of like the smart home controls of google and here if you like turn on any light it works fine and if you tap restart you get the directly rebooting option to the system or recovery or just a hot reboot or bootloader and there is also a separate fast boot option i'm not really sure what that does but yeah and we have the gesture navigation over here again i'm not going to show you that again and we have also the quickly open camera so double pressing the power button opens the camera quickly and we have the default keyboard as the gboard now in terms of performance i would say the daily driving performance over here should be pretty great and this rom feels fast enough and everything works fine in my personal opinion and you can definitely try this octavio os whenever it releases and in terms of benchmarks you can see the android 2 and geekbench score of this particular build in my personal opinion this is an amazing rom for the redmi note 7 pro and if you have not tried octavio os earlier i would say definitely you should try this so thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet please share this video with your friends if you want them to know about the octavio os on the redmi note 7 pro and huge thanks to the developers for letting me use the actual pre-release over here for the octavio os so i can like show you guys the features of this rom and please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KTN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.